horrid to think of a child dying in any manner, much less being shot. The mother of the five-year-old who died in a shooting in Fountain City last weekend now facing charges. Knoxville police arrested Robin Howington yesterday for tampering with evidence. The warrant says she wiped and stashed the gun outside the home on Balsam Drive in Fountain City and moved other items at the crime scene. Howington was released this morning on bond. 10 News reporter Shannon Smith learning more about the family and that little girl who died. She joins us now live from Fountain City. Shannon. Robin, that little girl's obituary says her name was Destiny Oliver. She's a student, or was a student at Fountain City Elementary School. And that principal just sent us a statement saying their hearts are going out to the family during the loss this tragic time. There are counselors at the school right now for students and teachers who need it. Now, her obituary says that Destiny was survived by three brothers. And people who knew her say she was such a sweet little girl. The details of how a five-year-old girl was shot in Fountain City Saturday are still unfolding. Her obituary shows this picture of five-year-old Destiny Oliver. She was a student at Fountain City Elementary School and is survived by three brothers. DCS says it cannot comment where those siblings are now due to an ongoing investigation. Destiny's former daycare teacher says she was a sweet child and her favorite student in a former class. Her teacher says she's crushed, in shock, and doesn't know how to feel. Attorney T. Scott Jones says it's always hard on a community when a child dies. It is horrid to think of a child dying in any manner, much less being shot. Destiny's mother, Robin Howington, is now charged with tampering with evidence related to the crime. Warrants state Howington wiped and stashed the gun that shot her daughter, refused to give police her phone, then put it under running water in hopes of destroying it. Documents say she feared the phone would have evidence of drug sales on it. Police also say Howington admitted to moving items in the home to make the area look normal. If it's your home and a chair is knocked over, you may just, as a matter of course, just reach over and pick that chair up. But you know, when you have situations occur like destroying a cell phone or hiding a weapon or quote unquote wiping a weapon down, uh, you know, those are actually conscious acts. Jones says tampering with evidence is a felony in Tennessee and those found guilty can be sentenced from three to 15 years. Destiny's obituary says she will be buried Friday in Bristol, Virginia. Again, no suspects have been named or arrested in this crime so far. Robin, I'm live in Fountain City. I'll send it back to you.